Hello everyone, welcome to Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I stopped by my Hobby Lobby because I heard they had some new clearance and I found these. This says 14 stamps, genuine US stamps, all different. Stamps of love. Oh, here we go. So these are already, what do you call these, cancel stamps? Well, it's a cute blessing bag. I can always reuse that for other things once I've used the, my stamps. Look at that. I like them. That one says love. Oh, I like that. It's got the crayon colors, see? Or the primary colors has leaves and those are shapes oops <laughs> oh, they're falling everywhere I like that one the purple pansies Rose, lovebirds. Look at the shape on this stamp. Something different, right? I like that one. Oops. It's a hand holding a bouquet. Oh, look at that puppy one. How cute. Morning Dove. Oh, look at these are the um, the sweetheart cookies or not cookies, but the sweetheart candies. Adorable. I like them. I'm happy I found these. They will come in handy when I work, you know, in my junk journals. Cute. Yeah, I picked up three of these and the regular price was $7.99 and I paid $0.99 cents each for um, well individual ones. And then I also found this. This is Plastic Binder by JB Well. Structural Plastic Adhesive. It was regular price $6.99. I paid $1.74. Well, you never know. I knew you need to um, put some plastic pieces back together. <laughs> Something my regular glue doesn't use. And then I also found this one. It's a stamp tweezer, regular price at $4.99, and it was $1.24. So I like this. Now, I already have something similar, but you know what? I'm like... It's a dollar twenty-four, one penny shorter than Dollar Tree, and I'm like, oh well, I'll grab it. It'll come in handy. I like using those. I also bought this binder. This binder is designed for clear stamps, and it is a three-ring storage binder. It says use stamp ability six by eight refills, and you get uh, five. Uh, refill pages. It is 9 by 9.5 inches. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I needed um, a binder like this size, the size. One I can put like the um, 8 by 5 or is it 8 inch by 8 uh, 5.5 paper. Anyhow, I needed a big binder. See how wide that is? It is like uh, three inches and I only paid $8.99. Now these do not go on sale, but that $8.99 is still a really good price. I wanted two of them, but uh, the other one that they had was all messed up. So if you ever should buy like a binder like this, take a look through and make sure it's okay. But yeah, the... I'm quite happy with this. 
I did not pay too much attention to it, but look at that. It's got that metal corners. Keeps it together, right? Now these inserts here, these are designed to hold um, stamps. I can still use those. And I like it that the caps are on top. So I picked up one of these. And then the last two items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby are the Stress Oxide ink. And this was Villainous Potion. It is $5.99. This will come in handy for Halloween. <laughs> and this one too. I picked it up in Candied Apple. It's, this one was $6.99. Um, I couldn't tell you why they're charging $5.99 for this one and $6.99. But like the, the whole, whole entire stack that they had was $6.99. So these do not go on sale either. But I usually buy them from Michaels. But they didn't have the Villainous Potion. So I went to Hobby Lobby to buy that one. And while I was there I was like, oh, I might as well pick up this one too. Candy Apple. So I can use my coupons at Michael's to purchase these for less, but like I said, they didn't have it, uh, this color in, and I need this color right away. So I picked those two up. I also stopped by the at-home store. Now they have all the Halloween items out at the at-home store. Well, let me just say they have a lot of Halloween stuff, and I bought these. I bought two each. They are garden steaks. It says Erie Estate Steak. They were $2.99. So I, um, look at that. Oh, if you turn it this way, they face each other, right? Aren't those cute? I like them. So the portrait itself is um, six inches long, five inches across. Aren't they cute? I plan to take the steak off and just use the portrait part. Cute. And that was it from at home store. And then from home goods, I picked up a couple items too. I picked up these napkins. Look at this. It's a skeleton in a coffin. So glow in the dark napkins. Hole under light to make me glow. How cute. You get 40 uh, guest napkins and it was $5.99. I'm going to take one out. Now I plan to use these in projects. So I will not be using it as its intended purpose. So pull that out. And Look at this. It's got that wood grain on a coffin. It'll make a fantastic Halloween project. Look at this. You get four images. Look at this. I like it. Does it have a size? Not really. But let's find out. It is seven and a half inches long by at the widest is three and three fourths right here. But these will make some excellent projects. I'm quite happy with it. Now I didn't mean to, but I bought two packages. <laughs> so I have two packages of those. And then I picked up a package of this one. This is also a skeleton. Uh, you also get uh, 40 napkins and you get, um, well, they're $5.99 also. Let's see. You see this? The skeleton is more detail on the gray napkins than the one in the glow in the dark. You see that? But they both come in the wood grain coffin. And let's see. 
Here we go. You also get four images. Isn't that fantastic? I like this. Nice. I love Home Goods napkin. If you need some cute napkins, go to Home Goods and pick some. There's, they have a lot of napkins with different designs on there. So I have that one. And then I also picked up this one. It says Book of Spells. You got the Witch Brewing Outdoor. How cute. And then this was $6.99. And I got the small ones. They, well, the, I didn't see any larger size, but they, you know, these books come nested and with a different size, but each size has a different image on there. So this book is uh, 8 one fourth by 5 one fourth. An interesting size that's just the outer size the cover itself now on the inside so you have uh, four and about four and a half this way the, the width and then seven inches so on the inside right here and it seems to be about an inch and of course I have the wrong ruler because see where my inch starts let me see here we go it is actually three-fourth inch on the depth of the book but and then it's got that, that magnetic closure on it see there I like it so cute Nope. <laughs> I like it. Oh, there's so much Halloween at Home Goods. It's hard to choose now. <laughs> it gets overwhelming when you go look and you're like, oh, what do I buy? I don't know. There's so much goodies. <laughs> These are the goodies that caught my attention this week. I, uh, I need to go back to at home and pick up the the runner they have this table runner that has like these portraits of a gentleman and a lady it, I believe it was like $23 and at the time I'm like nah I don't need it but now that I think about it I'm like I need those images I did go to like Joann's and took a look at their fabrics and I did not see anything similar uh, like anything with like portraits like this in, in the fabric material. I may go online and take a look. Maybe there there's something I can find online. You know where I don't have to pay $23 for a table runner that I'm going to disassemble. You know if I'm going to pay $23 on a table runner. I would rather just leave it intact. You know what I mean? Because it's so gorgeous. <laughs> but look at this. I oh. I'm really happy with my napkins. I'm glad I found uh, this one. Because this is, I think I bought this one first, the glow in the dark. And then later on, I saw this one. I'm like, hmm. I can have a like a black coffin. I can have a gray coffin. Now, these, see how they have the borders? You can just trim that off down, cut it down to the light gray coffin itself. And then you mod podge that onto a project. So, I mean, this will look excellent on a journal, right? Or in the journal. Fantastic. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. And I will see you next time.